So uh, where is it going from here? I mean, what stories do you have to tell that we haven't seen already? Uh, I mean, is, is it going to well, how about this? Is it going to be the same formula? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think like, I mean, like it's funny you just say the same things. Like I know. This, but like, but like, I think I mean, if you're a fan of the show, you know the seasons. I think, you know, first and second kind of led to third, where like you figure out a good blend of like the story and the violence. And I feel like, personally, I really like where by the end of third season, I think we found a really good like pace and density, and everything seemed really good. And I feel like this, I feel like fourth season is really that, and it feels really solid. Like I feel really. Like comfortable in it. And so you're done with it. Now it just has yeah. to be aired. No, no, no. no. Oh. We just, I mean, we've written, we've written all but one. We have written. Yeah, we've just started <laughs> boarding, but the first two have been coming out really awesome. They just feel, I feel like by the end, I mean, for me personally, like second half of third season, I feel like, I feel really happy with it. Like, I don't, like, there's other episodes where I'm like, oh, there's a lot of things I wish, wish or could have, would have kind of thing. But with end of third season, I was like, I really felt happy with them. Like I remember feeling like these oh, are yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely. laughing. There's enough violence. There's enough. Like, there's good story, and I think this season. But yeah, I mean, it's funny. I do think the stories this season got real funny. They got kind of more like they are. Like I don't want to label on, but they almost feel sitcommy. Like they're funny. They're a little bit throwback, yeah, which is cool. But there's still like tons of there's good. You know, making sure we still have a you know big fight in the episode and trying yeah. to pepper it with a lot of. <laughs> Depths. How do you think anything else is going to yeah. I, mean, yeah. you know, I, I don't think we amp it up. I think it's just making sure that there's always like kind of a unique setting for it. It was not gratuitous. Yeah, like no, keeping it gag driven. Because I think, yeah, because the hardest fights, the hardest fight scene or violence scenes are always when there isn't. Like if the, if you're like, okay, the fight's in the kitchen, you're like, all right, we're gonna think of tons of kitchen jokes, like a blender, and, you know, knives and like spoons. And but when it's kind of like, oh, there's just a fight in the yard, you're like, oh, what are they gonna do? Just physical jokes. I think we have fights. We have we have like a weather fight. We have a fight with fire, we have a, fire one in a big bayou, like a swamp. We have one, one with kind of, not zombies, but they're kind of alien, spore type, mutant type things. But they're all, but the, all, the, all these ones have really kind of very basic sitcom -y, like, not basic, but like, I don't know. Yeah, they're hard to explain, though, but it works for this show. And the inmates and the staff, I think, are interacting a lot more. That's which the best kind of been part. Really yeah, yeah that's the balance awesome. between them. Like the, the inmates have become characters now. So you don't wonder who they are when they're on the screen, and, and you know what they're about, which is good. Yeah, like first season, it was a lot of you know the warden and the staff, and, they, and we kind of kept drawing the same people. And there might be a voice that was kind of funny, yeah. him say it. And then I think. Uh, it was almost like a trial for a character, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 third season, I think we did a little more, this one, yeah, it's like, you know, Nikki, Ash, Hayes, Turban, some of them are the names, Fatty, they all kind of seem to hang out together like a group, like, you know, they seem to talk to, like, the Stingray and Petey are there now, yeah, Stingray's back a lot. There's a lot of characters on the show. Yeah. More than I thought. Because one of the biggest things with the season is I love the scripts where we'll start and be like, well, what are these guys doing? And trying to trying to get them all in it so it's yeah. a dense thing. And, and those to me are like the funniest. Like, I like when they're all kind of bumping into each other and stuff. And so now that it's gotten this far, what are your day-to-day -day responsibilities for the show? It's weird because, it like, I mean, for me, it does. It's weird too because the way this, the way we do the show is like when we start, we're just writing. So it's me and Steve, and then the writing supervisor and another writer, and we're just writing. But then I mostly focus on the storyboards. But as each department ramps up, it gets crazier. Like right now, I think backgrounds just started last week, and layout starts yeah, Monday. We haven't even started animation yet, and we're we're into the boards of the second episode. But then when animation starts, it starts to get crazy because we're looking at everything and. You're like looking at animation for this episode, but you're finishing up like a locked edit of so, yeah, multiple episodes through the season. Like the schedule, that's where it's crazy. We're kind of working on like four <laughs> and then it starts to lighten up each week. You know, How do you, you, know, you finish it? Yourself, like, when you're 
graffiti. Ideas for another like Well, it's funny because yeah, the producer because the, the, the Petey character was based on Petey the producer. And we drew him to look like him and we named him Petey. And I never he looks to say just that. like him. Like, these characters are real, but yeah, this guy Petey. He's just, the real Petey's not a puppet though. So he's alive, dude.